Anonymous have announced on social media that Russian authorities have recently raised concerns by claiming they possess the capability to trigger a volcanic eruption at Yellowstone National Park. This revelation has sparked apprehension among observers due to the potential catastrophic consequences associated with such a large-scale event. Anonymous revealed that the recent announcement was made on a television channel. This revelation brings to light the potential impact and power of such a weapon system. The group revealed that a military expert mentioned that the recently developed missile possesses unique characteristics, specifically the capability to simultaneously deploy a substantial quantity of nuclear warheads. This advanced weapon system is designed with sophisticated technology that enables it to carry out multiple warhead launches efficiently. The military representative emphasized that creating a foolproof defense system is unattainable, highlighting the vulnerability of the United States as a primary concern. This assertion underscores the complexities surrounding the establishment of an all-encompassing defense mechanism. The second crucial aspect to consider is the potential risk posed by the Sarmat missile to one of the most concerning landmarks within the United States, namely the Yellowstone volcano. This threat emanates from the destructive capability of the missile and its potential impact on the geological stability of Yellowstone. After expressing their views, they emphasized that such actions would have the potential to severely weaken America, cautioning United States authorities to choose their words wisely and be mindful of the repercussions that could follow. The implication was clear that the suggested course of action could significantly impact the stability and standing of the nation. The United States Geological Society has explicitly stated that triggering the supervolcano beneath Yellowstone National Park is scientifically improbable. The organization has emphasized that the geological mechanisms involved in activating such a massive volcanic system cannot be artificially induced. This assertion serves as a reassurance against speculations or theories suggesting that humans could purposely initiate an eruption at Yellowstone. In contemplating the scenario of a potential eruption of the supervolcano, it has been highlighted by certain individuals that the presence of inhabitants in this vicinity cannot be overlooked. Regardless of the actual occurrence of such an event, it is undeniable that the ramifications would directly impact the lives of these residents. In Yellowstone National Park, extensive demographic data indicates that the current population exceeds 1,000 individuals residing within the park boundaries. Additionally, a considerable number of individuals have chosen to make their homes in close proximity to the park's borders. Military sources with insider knowledge have expressed concerns regarding the current state of affairs, highlighting a negative outlook on the relationship between the United States and Russia. According to these sources, the situation is deemed highly unfavorable, marking a significant downturn in relations that has persisted for an extended period. The prevailing sentiment within military circles is one of apprehension and unease as the current dynamics between these two nations are characterized by heightened tensions. Launching any form of projectile, whether it's a missile or another type of weapon, invariably leads to catastrophic consequences. At this juncture, our only recourse is to maintain a sense of optimism and trust that the situation does not escalate to that extent. The notion of triggering a volcanic eruption by detonating a nuclear device within Yellowstone National Park is a topic of scientific debate and speculation. Proponents of the idea argue that the explosive force of a nuclear explosion could potentially rupture the Earth's crust and release the pent-up pressure within the supervolcano, triggering a cataclysmic eruption. However, most geologists and volcanologists dismiss this scenario as highly unlikely, citing several factors that mitigate the risk of a nuclear-induced eruption. Firstly, the energy released by even the most powerful nuke is dwarfed by the vast amounts of energy stored within the supervolcano's magma chamber, making it unlikely to have a significant impact on volcanic activity. Furthermore, the structure of the Yellowstone supervolcano is inherently stable, with a thick, impermeable layer of rock covering the magma chamber. While the likelihood of triggering a volcanic eruption by nuking Yellowstone National Park is remote, the potential consequences of such an event would be catastrophic. A super-eruption from the Yellowstone supervolcano would unleash a barrage of volcanic ash, gas and debris into the atmosphere, blanketing vast regions of North America and beyond. The immediate impact of a Yellowstone eruption would be devastating, 
with widespread destruction of infrastructure, loss of life, and disruption of ecosystems. The volcanic ash cloud would obscure the sun, causing a volcanic winter that could last for years, leading to crop failures, food shortages, and global climate instability. Moreover, the long-term environmental and economic consequences of a Yellowstone eruption would be felt for decades, if not centuries, as communities struggle to recover and rebuild in the aftermath of the disaster. The eruption could also have far-reaching geopolitical implications, as nations grapple with the social, economic, and security challenges posed by a global catastrophe of unprecedented scale. In the context of the United States alone, studies conducted by meteorologists have revealed that in the event of a volcanic eruption during the summer, the aerosols emitted have the potential to disperse globally. This occurrence could have far-reaching consequences, particularly in the short term, as the noxious cloud obstructs sunlight, leading to a considerable drop in global average temperatures. The repercussions of this phenomenon may persist for several years before returning to typical levels. Additionally, there would be a significant decrease in rainfall levels, a situation that could potentially instigate a devastating decline in tropical rainforests. The agricultural sector would face imminent collapse, commencing with regions like the Midwest. Described as the greatest catastrophe since the dawn of civilization by a group of scholars in a 2015 publication on extreme geohazards by the European Science Foundation, this scenario underscores the colossal potential impact of such a catastrophic event. Supervolcanoes, such as the one nestled in Yellowstone National Park, present a category of threats known as existential risks, events of extreme catastrophic magnitude that have the potential to cause global devastation and even the extinction of humanity itself. These risks can manifest in both natural forms, such as super eruptions or colossal asteroid impacts akin to the catastrophic event that led to the demise of the dinosaurs, as well as through human-made means, like the spectre of nuclear warfare or the creation of engineered viruses. These existential risks, by their very nature, surpass any calamities that humanity has encountered throughout its history, embodying the most severe scenarios imaginable. In the contemporary global landscape, the widespread adoption of digital technology has revolutionized the way we communicate, conduct business, and foster innovation. This technological evolution has opened up a myriad of new possibilities and avenues for growth. Nevertheless, this era of digital transformation also ushers in a pressing concern, the escalating risk of cyber attacks. These malicious activities not only target individuals, but also pose significant threats to the sustainability and security of businesses and governments on a large scale. Anonymous individuals have expressed the view that the upcoming major assault is not anticipated to take place on traditional battlegrounds, but is more likely to occur in the digital realm. Cyber attacks, as disclosed by the group, represent a diverse array of malevolent actions carried out by individuals, criminal syndicates, and governmental entities with the aim of breaching, disrupting, or causing harm to computer systems, networks, and digital infrastructure. These attacks can range from data breaches and ransomware to denial of service attacks and espionage activities. Cyber attacks encompass a wide range of malicious activities aimed at causing harm or gaining unauthorized access to systems and data. Cyber attacks are primarily driven by the desire for financial gain, a common motive among cyber criminals who aim to extract money through various means such as ransom demands, identity theft, or fraudulent transactions. Beyond financial incentives, cyber attacks can also be politically motivated, particularly when state-sponsored hackers target government entities, critical infrastructure, and private enterprises. Their objective often includes the theft of sensitive data or the disruption of operational activities. These attacks serve as a means for malicious actors to exploit vulnerabilities in systems for personal or strategic advantages. Cyber attacks have the potential to unleash severe repercussions, impacting not only individuals and businesses, but society in its entirety. The financial aftermath of cybercrime is staggering, amounting to billions of dollars each year. Businesses face a myriad of expenses stemming from cyber breaches, including costs associated with recovering data, repairing systems, covering legal fees, and managing the fallout of reputational harm. The implications of such attacks go beyond mere financial loss, extending into the realms of trust, security, and the overall stability of the digital landscape. 
Cyber attacks have the potential to severely damage public confidence in digital technology and diminish trust in various online platforms and services. The unauthorized access leading to the theft of sensitive personal data, including credit card details, social security numbers and medical records, can have far-reaching consequences such as identity theft, financial fraud and exploitation, thereby inflicting substantial harm on both individuals and communities. The breach of such confidential information not only jeopardizes the security and privacy of individuals but also poses significant risks in terms of financial losses and emotional distress. In the cyber realm, Anonymous highlighted a pivotal trend forecasted to dominate the landscape of cyber attacks in the forthcoming decade, emphasizing the heightened risk posed by nation-state-backed cyber warfare. With ongoing geopolitical tensions and escalating rivalries on the world stage, it is anticipated that nation-states will progressively leverage cyber attacks as strategic instruments for coercion, espionage, and sabotage in a complex interplay of power dynamics. This evolution signifies a shift towards a more combative digital landscape, where cyber capabilities are wielded not only for defensive measures, but also as offensive tools to achieve political, military, and economic objectives. Recent forecasts indicate a rising trend where government-backed hackers are expected to intensify their focus on targeting critical infrastructure, government entities, and military installations. Their tactics are projected to become more frequent and sophisticated, aimed at disrupting vital services, extracting confidential data, and compromising the stability and security of competing nations. The escalating accessibility of advanced cyber weaponry combined with the increasingly blurred boundaries between conventional warfare and cyber warfare, present formidable obstacles to established international standards and the robustness of cybersecurity measures. This evolution necessitates a deep examination of the complex challenges posed by the intersection of modern cyber threats with traditional security paradigms, highlighting the urgent need for enhanced vigilance and adaptive strategies in safeguarding against evolving cyber threats. One prominent trend that is anticipated to shape the landscape of cyber threats in the coming decade is the emergence of cybercrime as a service frameworks. These models facilitate malevolent individuals in leasing or procuring advanced hacking tools and services from the shadowy recesses of the internet. With the diminishing barriers to entry into the realm of cybercrime and the increasing financial rewards for perpetrators, the frequency and sophistication of cyber assaults directed at corporations, government entities, and private individuals are expected to soar exponentially. This shift underscores a concerning reality where cyber offenders are leveraging easily accessible resources to orchestrate more elaborate and damaging attacks across various sectors, posing a significant challenge to cybersecurity efforts globally. Cybersecurity forecasts indicate a rising focus of cyber criminals on exploiting nascent technologies like artificial intelligence, blockchain, and the Internet of Things to capitalize on vulnerabilities and plan sophisticated large-scale attacks primarily for monetary benefits. The persistence of ransomware attacks, data breaches, and identity theft is expected to continue, posing substantial risks to both businesses and individuals. These malicious activities are projected to evolve and adapt to target the vulnerabilities within the rapidly expanding technological landscape. Over the forthcoming 10 years, the rise of groundbreaking technologies like quantum computing, 5G networks, and autonomous systems is set to bring about a wave of fresh possibilities and obstacles within the cybersecurity domain. These advancements not only offer the potential to transform industries and enable innovative functionalities, but also bring forth new avenues for cyber threats and vulnerabilities that can be manipulated by malicious entities. As these disruptive technologies continue to evolve, the landscape of cybersecurity will witness a profound shift, necessitating a proactive approach in defending against emerging risks and securing critical infrastructure. The anticipated advancements in technology indicate that quantum computing stands poised to revolutionize the realm of cybersecurity by potentially rendering current cryptographic algorithms and encryption methods obsolete. As a result, there is a pressing need to innovate and implement encryption systems and security measures that can withstand the capabilities of quantum computing. Currently, the imminent widespread integration of 5G networks is projected to bring forth a new set of vulnerabilities associated with network slicing, edge computing, and the proliferation of interconnected devices. 
These developments are expected to intensify the repercussions of cyber assaults on essential infrastructure and supply chains, emphasizing the critical importance of fortifying defenses against evolving cyber threats. Amid the ever-changing landscape of cyber threats, it is becoming imperative for entities such as businesses, governmental bodies, and global partners to place a growing emphasis on resilience, collaboration, and the exchange of information as fundamental components of their cybersecurity strategies. Projections indicate a notable rise in the significance of partnerships between the public and private sectors, fostering the ability of organizations to combine their efforts, share critical threat data, and align their actions to counter cyber risks more efficiently. This collaborative approach is envisioned as a strategic shift that will greatly enhance the collective response capabilities against evolving cyber threats. In the realm of cybersecurity, the incorporation of proactive strategies like threat hunting, preparing for incident response, and conducting cyber resilience assessments is increasingly essential for businesses aiming to reduce the vulnerabilities associated with cyber intrusions. In parallel, governments are set to assume a pivotal role in nurturing a culture of cybersecurity consciousness and readiness. They are anticipated to make substantial investments in education, training and programs focused on enhancing the capabilities of individuals and entities to effectively shield themselves against cyber hazards. This comprehensive approach signifies a shift towards a proactive stance in cybersecurity, underscoring the imperative nature of continuous vigilance and readiness in the face of evolving cyber threats. The forthcoming decade presents a complex landscape characterized by both opportunities and risks in the arena of cyber attacks. Factors such as advancements in technology, global political tensions, and the continuously evolving threat environment will significantly influence the trajectory of cybersecurity, presenting challenges that are profound and often unpredictable. Issues ranging from the escalation of cyber warfare conducted by nation-states to the proliferation of cybercrime as a service business models and the advent of disruptive technologies will create a myriad of intricate challenges for entities such as organizations, governments and individuals. These diverse challenges underscore the vast and multifaceted nature of the cybersecurity landscape, requiring a comprehensive and in-depth approach to address the complex interplay of forces at play. So, what do you make of these announcements? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.